Hey, what up guys? What a beautiful and amazing morning. I'm right now a few blocks away from my house and I'm having some fun with this little guy. I really love it, but anyways, a few days ago I was driving looking for some good location where I could take some beautiful sunset photos and I found this place. I think it's really beautiful, but today I thought it would be a great idea to show you how to make one of my favorite visual effects. This is the vertigo effect. It looks really amazing and it would definitely make your shot look beautiful. Even if you don't have a dolly, you can fake it in post. So today I want to show you how to do it using Premiere Pro. So let's go back to the studio right now. Hey, we're back in the studio for those who are new on this channel. I'm Carlo with Viva Folk and if you're an aspiring filmmaker, you are in the right place. Here you will find amazing cinematic videos, tips, gear reviews and tutorials for you to improve your filmmaking skills. So if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing right now in the bottom below. So let's get started how to transform this into this. The vertigo effect is usually made using a dolly and while you are moving or sliding forward, a zoom lens is used to be zooming out at the same time, giving you this amazing effect called vertigo. So let's start creating a new project in Premiere Pro. There you have, okay, right now I want to import one of these drone shots I made up a couple of months ago. It is better if you have your footage recorded in 4K. This way you will be able to adjust your frame size maybe in a normal 1080 size so you can make your clip smaller and don't lose quality in your video. But right now I'm using a 1080 clip. This is because I'm shooting with a DJI Phantom 3. So first let's paste the clip in the timeline. And as you can see, this drone shot is moving forward. This means that we need to zoom in. I'm going to effects control and add some keyframes to animate our clip. So we're adding a first keyframe in the very beginning of our clip. Just need to click here and there you go. Here, here is my first keyframe. Let's go to scale. Here we have a 100% size of our clip. We need to add another keyframe at the end of our video and zoom in. Changing this number here will automatically create our last keyframe. Let's say 130%. Let's see. There you have. Now it's zooming in while the drone is moving away from the object but it's really important to keep our subject in the same place. For this, we need to create another keyframe in the first frame of our clip right here, this time in position. And now we have our first keyframe. Let's play around with the position of our clip. As you can see, the farther the drone is moving, our main subject is moving a little bit to the right. So we need to compensate this movement, sliding the whole clip to the left. So we're going to create this last keyframe by selecting your last frame and moving the clip a little bit to the left. I'm trying to keep the subject in the exact same place. There it is. Now our clip is moving to the left while the zoom effect is making its work, creating this vertigo effect. So let's make a fast color correction, add some black bars and that's it. A cinematic vertigo effect right in place. So that's all for me guys. If you have any question or a suggestion for new videos, let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I I know this was a really quick tutorial because I've been a little bit busy working in a French video that hopefully if everything goes fine, we'll be flying to Germany in November. But 
anyways i really wanted to share with you guys at least one of my cool tricks that i've used in some of my videos hope you guys like it hit that like button and see you the next time here in viva folks